Okay, so, Halloween. At one point in our lives, we've all dressed up as something just so we could steal candy from strangers we didn't know. We were basically just robbers who wanted to be a little creative with their disguises. But, instead of stealing the things normal people would want to steal, we stole the stuff that mattered. Candy. Me and my brother used to go through our candy and find the kind we didn't like or want and ask the other if they wanted it. When they said yes, we'd snatch it back and be like, what do you got for me? And usually with me, it would always be he had a sucker and I had a Reese's and we would swap. I also remember my mom, as soon as we got home with all our candy, she would make us dump it out onto the floor. Yes, we're checking if it's safe, but put it all on the floor. Your dad cleaned it last month. It's fine. So we would be checking all the candy wrappers, you know, to see if they were opened or anything. And also exploring the kinds of candy that we got that year. Sometimes we got one of those people who handed out healthy snacks that no one ever wanted, and we wouldn't care less if it was open or not. We'd just not even inspect it, because we knew it was going straight in the trash can. Sometimes my mom would grab a Reese's or something that she wanted and say, Oh, you no, know, you don't want this one. Th this one's no good. She now claims she was never really going to take it. But when a woman grabs my candy, it breaks my trust, all right? So, costumes. Poor transition. <sighs> We all know what it's like before Halloween gets here. What costume are you going to wear, Jimmy? I'm going as a Ninja Turtle. What about you, Sally? I'm going as Elsa. What about you? I'm... I'm going as... Um... Uh... Uh... It would always suck when it was close to Halloween and you and your mom hadn't picked out your costume yet. Sometimes really close to Halloween, y'all would just go to Walmart, see the one you like the most, and wear it. One year, me and my brother both went as stormtroopers from Star Wars. And when we walked down the streets of our neighborhood, we walked like we were actually soldiers. They were very expensive, too. But they were worth it if they made us look as cool as we did. The other costume I remember going as was one that I thought of randomly one day. It was the best costume, the coolest costume I have ever had aside from the stormtrooper. I was a spy horse. That's right, I was a spy horse. I wore a black coat, my dad's tie, and I had a horse mask. And I even still had the little badge thing I carried in my coat pocket. I was ready to fight bad guys and neigh proudly. Except for the fact that I could barely see in the horse mask and walking down the streets after it had rained recently was difficult. Look out, there's a puddle there. Dang it! I also remember when the person would come to the door finally, I'd hold my bag out and I'd just stand there for a while. Cause in that mask you can only see it through his mouth. So I never knew if the person was like, oh, struggling to get the candy out of the bowl or picking out the candy they wanted to give me. Or if they had already put it in and I was just standing there looking like a greedy horse, like, give me more. Kaylee, after a while, had to start letting me know when they had already given me the candy because she was my eyes. But man, we must have looked so stupid that year. I was a spy horse and she was my sidekick, Little Red Riding Wolf. That's right, Wolf. She was originally just going to be Little Red Riding Hood. But last minute before we went, she took my wolf mask that I got one year for Halloween. I don't really remember going out in the werewolf costume, but all I know is I still use the mask a lot in videos, as you've probably seen, as well as the horse mask. That same year, when I was a spy horse, we went to the store. I can't actually remember why we did, I just remember my mom and dad arguing a lot the whole way to the store. Me and Kelly just sat in the back, exchanging glances, because to us, it was hilarious. You see... My mom had dressed up as an angel that Halloween. So here she was with her little wings and halo, yelling and arguing with my dad. So me and Kelly just sat in the back containing our laughter. Well, finally, our laughter couldn't be contained. When at the store, after we were there for a while, my mom went to take her halo off and adjust it when it broke. And me and Kelly busted out laughing so hard, <laughs> which made my mom laugh too. Well, that's all my Halloween stories I've got. I asked my mom if she had any Halloween stories about me and my brother that she remembered, but she just remembered some of the costumes we wore, which really is all I remember about most of my Halloweens. Which is why I think costumes are my favorite part of Halloween. When I look back on Halloween, I don't remember how much candy I got or what kind it was. I always remember what I dressed up as. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye everybody, I'm Wild Woof 6200, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye everybody.